Hey, what is up guys? Today we will be uh, repainting the wheels for my mom's car, the Hyundai. What do you guys think about that? But anyway, these are in pretty rough shape. Um, you can see there's some um, curb rash right here. There's some black stuff going on. I'm not quite sure what that is. And then there's actually like a chemical burn on the wheel. It looks like someone tried to clean this using oven cleaner or something, but this does not come off uh, no matter how, how hard you scrub it. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and restore this whole wheel by repainting it with spray paint. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so when most people have problems with spray paint, it's usually because they're not doing the right prep work. And when it comes to spray paint, it's really probably 90% preparation and 10% of the actual application. So a couple of things that we're gonna do, we're gonna use Sonax. Um, I've done a full video on this product. And this is actually a chemical that will dissolve the iron that's in the brake dust. So this isn't soap. It's actually a uh, chemical that will really eat through this quickly. It'll save us a lot of work, a lot of scrubbing. And then we're gonna come through with some dish soap to make sure that we get all the oils and things off of the wheel. And then from there, we'll sand it down and get the surface ready to paint. All right, so first we're just gonna spray down the wheel with Sonex. And this stuff is pretty cool because it sprays on like a really bright yellow. And then as it's working, it'll turn dark red. So you can actually see this stuff working. That's why it's so cool. So uh, just go ahead and spray this on. It's pretty heavy. Because again, this is gonna do a lot of the scrubbing for us. So it'll save us a lot of time um, just compared to using a sponge and try to scrub all this stuff off. So you'll see how good this stuff works in a minute. So here's how the Sonex will look after about five minutes. Um, once it pretty much turns red like that, it's ready to be rinsed off with the hose. You don't wanna let this stuff dry on there though because it'll pr be pretty hard to get off. So it looks like it's pretty much red, it's done its work. So we're just gonna go ahead and rinse this all off now. Now watch how easy this comes off without any scrubbing so far. Next thing that we're gonna do is scrub down the wheel with uh, Dawn dish soap. And I know a lot of people feel weird about using dish soap on different car parts, but remember the sole reason that we're doing this is to clean any oils or grease that might be on the wheel. And that's exactly what this stuff is designed to do. So let's go ahead and rub this wheel down. So now that the wheel is nice and clean, you can kind of see that chemical stuff that I was talking about. Now this was already on the car when my mom bought it. And what this looks like is, uh, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where people will use stuff like oven cleaner to clean a wheel. And that might be okay for steel wheels, but with these aluminum wheels, um, even though these are aluminum, they're actually painted, uh, painted silver with a clear coat on top of it. And a lot of times really harsh chemicals like that oven cleaner will actually damage the finish on the wheel. So that's kind of what we're correcting today just by repainting them. So I just wanted you to see a close up of that. All right, so the next step is gonna be sanding the wheel. I've got two different grits of sandpaper. We're gonna start with the 220, which is a little bit rougher. That'll help take down some of this heavier stuff here. And then we'll go down to uh, 400, which is a more fine grit. That'll give us a smooth finish before we start painting the wheel. So let's go ahead and start out with this 220 here. Get your sandpaper, just make sure that you get the waterproof kind. It's usually gonna be black, that way you can wet sand. That makes it a lot easier to sand with because you can dip it in the water and it keeps the uh, sandpaper nice and clear. As you're sanding, um, like I said before, the wheels are already painted, so you wanna be careful not to sand through the paint that's already on there. That's actually a pretty good foundation that you can paint off of. So just be careful of that, especially on the edges. You don't wanna sand through all the way down to the aluminum. All right, so we just sanded the wheel with the 220. Now we're gonna switch over to this 400 sandpaper, and this will just give us a really smooth finish before we go ahead and start painting. All right, so we just sanded down the wheel. The last thing that we're gonna do for preparation is just wash it one more time with the soap, make sure that we got everything off of it, make sure it's nice and clean before we start painting. So now that we've got the wheel nice and clean, we sanded it, everything's ready to go. Next step is gonna be masking off the wheel and uh, we found this bag 
that was just the right size. So what we're gonna do is take this tape, we're gonna tape around the edge, and then we'll just tuck this bag underneath it. That way the tire doesn't get paint on it. All right, so now that we've got the wheel all masked off and ready for paint, uh, we're gonna start painting and I'm gonna be using Duplicolor wheel paint. My mom wanted silver just to match the original look that was on the car. And then we'll go ahead and top it off with the Duplicolor wheel gloss. So I know some people are gonna ask why I'm not using Plastidip and I don't really like Plastidip that much anymore. And really this is meant to be more of a permanent solution. That's why we're just using the standard paint. That's not gonna come off or anything. Uh, this will be good on the car. You can wash it just like normal. So uh, that's why we're gonna go with the Duplicolor paint for this and let's get started. So before you start painting, the first thing you wanna do, obviously shake the can real good. And for your first coat, you just really wanna do a light dusting on the wheel. We're not trying to change the color of the wheel just yet. We just wanna get a nice base coat down uh, before we get heavy with the paint. So take a close up look at my first coat here. You can see that that paint didn't totally cover that and that's exactly what we wanted. We just wanted a light coat for the first coat there. So here's just a close up of how that uh, first coat came out. All right, so after you give the first coat a couple minutes to dry, you can go ahead and do your second coat. Uh, you can layer this one up a little bit heavier this time. Here's a close up of the second coat. You can see that we're building up a little bit heavier. You can still see a little bit underneath it, but that's okay because we've still got a couple more coats to put on top of this. So one pro tip here, if you're noticing that it's not spraying quite right, you can go ahead and kind of clean off that nozzle. Sometimes paint will build up on there and it will prevent it from spraying um, smoothly. So just wipe that off and you'll be good to go. All right, so this is the third coat. We're gonna build this one up a little bit heavier. So now we're gonna do our fourth and final coat with the spray paint before we move on to the clear. So you just wanna shake the can really good and this will be our heaviest coat. So just be really careful. Don't keep the can in one spot. You wanna keep moving it. That way you're not getting drips and stuff like that. So uh, just very carefully build it up. Don't get the can too close either because that's really how drips happen. Right here, uh, how I have the can is a good distance. So after we've given this uh, final coat a few minutes to dry, we can go ahead and start with the clear. We're gonna do two coats of clear coat. The first coat is just gonna be a light dusting just like we did with the paint, and then the second coat will build it up a little heavier. We're gonna do the last coat with the clear coat, and this is probably the most important out of all the painting that we've done so far, because this is gonna be the final coat that you see. So uh, you want to layer it on nice and heavy and the important thing is to get the whole wheel wet all at once. That way it dries even but at the same time you want to be careful not to get it too wet where it's going to drip so uh, just be really careful with this one.
So check it out, here's a side by side between the wheel that we haven't done yet. And here's the one that we just painted. Look at that shine, the reflection on it from the sun. Before. And after. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, the links for all the stuff that I use today, the paint, the Sonax, the clear coat, that'll all be down in the description if you want to check that stuff out. And I know I already did a video covering this, but I was doing these wheels anyway and I just like to document what I'm doing for you guys, maybe bring up some points that I didn't talk about in my last video. So anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm super excited for how these came out, even better than I was anticipating. But thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. This is a Chucky Beat production.